Hello, this is Margaret from Noble Desktop, and today I will be going over the Razor tool in Premiere Pro. So we're going to use the Razor tool to cut down some parts of this interview. That's a little bit of a long pause. So I'm in the I'm already in the Razor tool or C for the Razor tool. So I'm going to make a cut. I'm linked, and these tracks are linked, so they cut together. If for whatever reason, if you were not linked and the, say the tracks didn't go together, you, you were using an, a different audio for your video, you would press the shift key when you clip. You'll see how you have two razors now because it's cutting both audio and video. But I am able to link, so I'll just leave it at that. Now I'll go back to V for the selector tool and I'm going to delete this section. Click in the empty space and delete the empty space. Oh, not able to. When you're not able to delete an empty space, the culprit is above. This is the logo. This is the Noble Desktop logo. So I'm going to lock that. The lock, when you lock something, it's tools cannot touch it. So now I'm able to close the gap. With video editing and animation. I can see here that I've made a little bit of a jump cut. What I'm going to do to resolve that is I'm going to double click on the video go to effects control and increase the scale of one of the clips to make it seem like a new clip. Let's look. Editing and animation. I used to work in a creative studio that designed a wide variety of things, but did a lot of books. Okay, so that's one way of resolving the creation of a jump cut. I'm going to command Z again a couple of times. Now, let's look at a different, another way of deleting a section of his silent pause. You might remember Q and W. When you've made a cut, you've essentially created a new clip. You could see that because we were able to enlarge one half of it through using the effects control tab. But if I wanted to cut from the beginning of the clip to the playhead, I could just press the letter Q. And that instantly cuts. Let me do that again. Here's my playhead. It cuts from the beginning of the clip to the playhead. Q. I used to work in a creative studio. Another way of dealing with creating a jump cut is to go over to your effects control panel. Look under video transitions. You can try a morph cut, which is a very good device for cutting out, uh, uh, like people saying, um, 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 that type of thing, cutting out a lot of ums. A morph cut will try to mask the cut. It's analyzing it. And animation. I used to work in a creative studio. That it's pretty good. I'm going to go up top and say sequence render into out. Green is always good when you see green. That means you're in good shape. It's rendering the whole movie. Okay, so let's look at different ways of using the blade tool. Maybe I want to cut back to him. I'm going to make two cuts. V, I'm just going to delete that. We're going to look at him. We were so excited to see it win second. Um, make it a little bit more. A thousand page book. We were so excited to see it win second place in the New York Book Show that year. So you can return to your primary interview track. Another way of, of working with making cuts, if I want to cut out this gap as well, there's another gap here. Another way, instead of pressing the Q, if I were to press the letter A, A is your track select forward tool. And that selects absolutely everything going forward on your, on your sequence line, everything. It could be two hours of footage. And then if I just went scoot it over, it'll cover this cut. Let me do that again. I clicked, I wanna, I wanna cover this little spot here. So I'm just gonna go like that. Work goes into creating a book. For every page, you must think of where the photos go. And okay, maybe I'll do another morph cut or a scale change. By the way, the reason it landed so nicely when I moved it over was snap. When your snap is on, which generally it is, it makes your footage move very, like a magnetic way to any cut. If it was off, I'm going to shut it off. It's a little, it doesn't quite get on the line. You have to line it up visually. So you generally want to keep snapping on. So the last thing I'll do with the razor tool today is construct something new in a clip. I'm going to make just, because this is a long time on this one angle, 
So I'm going to make a close up suddenly. So I'm going to make a cut and another cut here, and then double click, effects control, increase the scale, reposition him. Let's see how that looks. Part of it, but there's also the hundreds of pages that come in between. So you might remember the roll tool, N for the roll tool. I'm going to just pull into itself. There's also the hundreds of pages that come in between. See, a lot of work goes into... Maybe on pages. Hundreds of pages. That's one part of it, but there's also the hundreds of pages that come in between. See, a lot of work goes into creating a book. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on how to use the Razor tool. This has been Margaret from Noble Desktop.